2018 Game Fair, which yesterday was Friday. It was absolutely steaming hot. Uh, everybody was getting sunstroke, everybody was drinking, lots of ice cream ball. Today we had uh, showers at 4 o'clock this morning, absolutely hammered down. That's cooled the air down a bit. It's overcast and cloudy at the moment. Bit of wind and it's a lot cooler. A lot more uh, nicer to walk round. So what we're going to do is we're here at the bus stop. What I thought we would do is catch the bus. We'll take some video and we'll show you around the game fair. A bit like catching the buses around Bristol, game fair buses haven't got a timetable, or I don't think the staff can read a timetable, but the wait is not too long. It's just that there's so many people here at the game fair, they just can't get through. The staff are trying to do their best, but anyway, I'm on the bus, let's see where it takes us. the gate and as you can see they're still pouring in at the game fair at 11 o'clock in the morning absolutely thousands and thousands of people here that's where we get our programs from with all the entertainment and what's going on and what's happening as you can see there's tents all lined up at the back there that's all the staff for the stands plenty of food nobody's going to go hungry I think the uh, Ice cream men did best yesterday. Everybody's friendly, everybody says hello to you while you're going past them. Yeah. Oh, I like the bus bar. Oh, I like this look at that. Supermarkets, bikes. Electric bikes, oh, I can hire a bike and go around and show. wonder if they let me borrow one of those. Sorry about the camera work being a bit shaky. Uh, the ground's a bit dry and a bit bumpy. But just going past the fishing lake there. Absolutely beautiful setting. And of course, Hot weather, find the ice cream van. Like if you go to the show, you find out where the toilets are. Next important thing on a hot day is find out where you can find the ice cream. And we're coming up to a bus stop. We've got people waiting to come on. see the house behind the tree there. Seat makers. This is all the crafts. Dry stone walling. Beekeeping. Hedge laying. Wow. There is just so much to see at the game fair. It'll take you three days to go round it if you did it properly. There you are, there's a bit of a house. Now we're coming up to a food area now, and I can smell the donuts. Oh, doesn't that smell nice?
<laughs> That's all right, girls. Don't move.
stop because of the traffic. Good evening. 
down by a hot tub. Oh, that's a posh barbecue. That's long gone. That's fine. Oh, wow. Pressure washers. Obviously, uh, for a little pony, a pink shed. Dog carrying, dog suits for cars, dog food. And now we're back at the working dog ring. That's the Columbus, Com Colombian Spaniel just setting up in the ring. And if you look at the videos, there will be one there, especially just showing them for their half hour display. Absolutely lovely display they did yesterday. As you can see, loads of people around all the show rings. Absolutely fascinating place to come to. Brilliant. There we are, and that's the bus ride. And now we're back. That's the commentary box where I got all my uh, editing equipment for doing the videos all set up. And now we're back home. Anyway. Well, there you are. We're uh, back in the bus stop back at the working dog ring and I hope you've enjoyed having a look around the game fair.